This wig is bomb. This wig is what's happening right now. Like, I am for real feeling myself with this wig. I just, I just can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new wig that I got from FridayNightHair.com. So the unit that I'm wearing today is the GLS 03 and it is a lace front synthetic wig and honey, it is 32 inches, okay? So it is long. I actually cut it. Um, when I customized the wig, I actually trimmed some of it off because honestly it was just it was just too long like this kind of curly hair me personally it just doesn't look good to me when it's that long so I ended up cutting it a couple of inches so I don't know how long it is now <laughs> it's still a pretty long wig like I still like the length that it was like when I initially got it it was down to my butt <laughs> it was literally down to my butt and then I trimmed it and now it's like at the middle of my back so I feel more comfortable with this length than I did with the 32 inches initially. So about this wig, like I said, it's a lace front wig. It's synthetic, but it is super soft. That was one of the first things I noticed when I took the wig out of the package. It was super soft. Basically, I didn't really have to do a lot of customizing to it. All I really did was when I took it out, I cut off the lace, and then I went in and I also trimmed in some baby hairs that you see. So I put in some baby hairs at the front, but in terms of like me having to like pluck the hairline and all that, I didn't have to do that. Fortunately, <laughs> one thing about Friday Night Hair is that they are known for their very realistic hairlines. And again, the hairline for this unit was, you know, pretty, it was fine the way it was. So I didn't see a need to go in and pluck it even more. Um, and that's what I like about Friday Night Hair um, wigs. They, the hairline, they are pretty like thin towards the front, but they kind of gradually thicken as you go back and that's how realistic, <laughs> you know, that's how hairlines realistically look. So, I appreciate that so I don't have to pluck it. I didn't like brush through the cur curls because, um, I don't know. I, I just I think if I brushed through it, it would kind of ruin the curl pattern. So I didn't um, I didn't brush through it, but I did take my fingers and kind of just finger combed it a little bit. But overall, I love this wig. It is so pretty. <laughs> it's just so and you know it's funny because I saw it on another you know other women or whatever, and I was a little skeptical about how it would look on me um, because it was so long and because it's so curly and I don't think I have a wig that's this curly that's not like an afro or something like that but yeah this wig is super curly but um I haven't experienced a lot of shedding with this wig I have experienced shedding with it but um not a lot like not a significant amount it was like maybe like a little 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 ball in my palm but that was about it um, cause when I run my fingers through it, I don't really like get much, I don't even, I don't really have anything like that's, you know, coming through. So it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really shed. So that's nice because one thing I have struggled with, with FridayNightHair.com in the past is the shedding. But I also think that's because the wigs that I got, I plucked them like um not because their hairline wasn't you know realistic looking it's just because I wanted to have a part in the hair so I ended up plucking through the hair um so I guess that's probably why they shed and then they were also like straight hair uh long long straight hair wigs and so those are kind of more prone to shedding than maybe say a curly wig so I think that might have been the reason and I think with this wig, I don't think I will have to worry too much about tangling because even when I like run my hands through the hair, like it doesn't, I mean it tangles, but I think that's inevitable because it's curly hair, but I don't think it's going to be one of those situations where the hair like mats up and stuff. So I don't think like... I don't think I'm experiencing a lot of tangling with this hair. I know the... So... I mean, I don't even know much more to say. Like, I just, I, 
girl this wig is so bomb like it's just so cute and the fact that it was a synthetic wig is like really killing me right now because it looks pretty natural and it feels like high quality you know it doesn't feel cheap the price of it if you're wondering <laughs> the price of it started at 49.99 i believe it was around 50 dollars and then after shipping it was like 55 dollars so even then it's still not a bad price um, considering it's a synthetic wig. So it's a pretty, you know, affordable price in my opinion. Um, and the shipping did take a little bit longer than usual, but I think that's because I ordered it during the holidays. So, <laughs> so I think it just took longer than usual because it was just around the holidays. But usually they take like two to five days to ship so the shipping isn't the shipping time isn't bad either depending on where you live but um yeah like i don't really have anything negative to say about it either like it's just a really great wig they give you a lot of um a lot of flexibility for parting because the lace goes from ear to ear um so I mean, if you, like, I just, I kind of just swooped it, <laughs> swooped it this way. I didn't part it, really. Like, I don't think I'm going to put a part in this wig, because I think I can get away with not having a part with this wig, because I kind of like the fact that I can just, like, throw it any kind of way I want to go. Um, so I'm probably not going to put a part in this wig, but, I mean, if you wanted to, you could do a middle part. I didn't really like how the middle part looked, because I tried to, like, you know, play around with the hair. I decided that a side part looks better on me um with this kind of hair so it's up to you but you have a lot of flexibility because the lace goes from ear to ear and um it does come with combs there's two combs on the side and then there's one in the back and then it also has adjustable straps so if you want to secure your hair that way you have those options me personally i glued the wig onto my head with got to be glue so i didn't really I didn't use the combs like at all and it feels pretty secure on my head I also have a big head so it is pretty big head friendly for the most part um, so if you have a rather large head like myself it will be fine you should be able to fit this on your head um, I haven't experienced any slipping or sliding off my head or anything like that yet I'm gonna give this wig a 5 out of 5 <laughs> that's thus far because this wig is just phenomenal i love this wig i highly recommend it <laughs> to anybody i will put the link down in the description box um as far as i know this is the only color that the wig comes in this is the color 1b um so as far as i know this is the only wig color that it comes in and the lace is brown so which helps to blend in to your actual scalp uh what else that I think I might be missing. I believe you can use heat on it. If not, I will correct myself somewhere, but I'm pretty sure you can use heat on this hair. So if by all means you wanna wand curl it some more, you have the option. I don't really see how you would need to do that because this hair is super curly. But other than that, y'all, I mean, I ain't got much to say about it. I don't really have anything negative to say about it. It's a good wig. Go copy one, girl. All right, now see y'all guys in the next video. Bye!